from um, Washington. <laughs> Hello, Uncle Sam, how are you? Everything okay? Yes. Do what? Not doing enough? I'm sorry? Do more? Pakistan needs to do more? Uncle Sam? Hello? I think the phone's been cut. Uh, Uncle Sam didn't have enough money uh, for credit for the mobile phone. Uncle Sam, if you're uh, listening through us through various satellite tracking systems, which uh, I know that you have, it really upsets me and it really saddens me when you say that Pakistan is not doing enough. I mean, what more do you want Pakistan to do? Haven't we done enough? How much more do we have to do for you, Uncle Sam? I mean, hey, come on, unwind, chill out a little bit. Don't you feel that one of our lives is as important as one of your lives? Don't you think that there should be some sort of equality here? Uncle Sam, you believe in equality, don't you? Or have you been talking to the Indians? Oh, when I talk about the Indians, um, I'm talking about the Red Indians. Uh, you, you know what you did to the Red Indians. I, I don't know if it was you or whether it was John Wayne, or maybe both you and John Wayne are one, uh, Uncle Sam, I don't know. But uh, somebody did something because I know that there are no Red Indians in Waziristan. Uh, the last time we checked, I don't think there are any Red Indians in uh, Waziristan. So whenever you say to me that Pakistan needs to be doing more, I'd like to give you a message, Uncle Sam. No more, Uncle Sam. No more. Thank you. Very much. Now we're going to go to our first guest. And my first guest, ladies and gentlemen, on the show uh, is a actor, writer, uh, director, producer. He also calls himself a bit of a strategist. So I'm going to have to find out what he means by a strategist. One of a personal favorite of mine because he's a bit of an action sort of a character. Uh, we've also worked uh, together, which is a very good thing. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado and without more speeches, Mr. Shamoon Abbasi. Shamoon, assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum salam, kaise aap sir? Very well, thank you. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. Please, please do come take a seat. Are you comfortable? Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> well, I mean, uh, we were talking about you being a... Uh, uh, an action character. I see that you seem to be in, in army gear today. Uh, <laughs> what's going on? Um, a lot, a lot actually. Yeah. Are, you, yeah. are you are you busy from a shoot or something? Is this a shoot? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll be going to a shoot right away. <laughs> right. Yeah. Well, thank you very much indeed for this. So you're an actor, writer, director, uh, strategist. Uh, you're a good lover. Ah, uh, I don't know. I should know about it. Um, <laughs> I think. Yeah. I You're think a good I am. I am. <laughs> I, I think. He thinks he is. Okay. <laughs> we're not going to. We're not going to send this out to you as a teaser. You can get back to us, you know, on email. But uh, so, what is the success of a very happy married life? Um, I don't. It, it, it actually compiles with a lot of things. It comes with uh, a little trust. Right. It comes with a little confidence on the on the other, uh, you mm. know, uh, partner, mm. and it comes by letting go a lot of uh, crap that we keep in our brains for mm. the other partner. Mm. If we just want to be very perfect all the time, I don't mm. think so. I mean it really mm. works. It really right. Yeah. Right. So okay. Okay. Now, uh, from our research, we found out that you're also a bit of a strategist. Okay. So when you write strategist, what does it mean being a strategist? Okay, um, luckily I had uh, the chance to do a few uh, international shows. Mm. Uh, they were game shows basically. Right. So um, designing a game actually is what we call strategy. Right. It's how a game would actually be played mm -hmm. and what's going to be the points, how do you get points and how do you get eliminated and what's the strategy of actually taking a whole crew of 45 people to another country. I know you as an action hero. Yeah. You do this work as well? Yes. Yeah, yeah, so I mean this involves marketing, it invo involves sales, it, it in yeah, involves almost. corporate uh, sort yeah. of... Uh, I've been working with corporates and right. uh, yeah. And that's another side of my life, mm. but it also uh, remains in that action, you know, packaging. It, it right. doesn't, it never got away from that action kind of uh, mentality of mine. Mm -hmm. It was uh, an adventure show. Mm -hmm. I, I've done a couple of them. Mm -hmm. So um, there were a lot of people who were like, okay, we are willing to invest in the show, but mm -hmm. how do we plan it? Mm -hmm. How do we yeah. design the whole that's thing? Right. So I had to go through a lot of research and stuff and then, you know, present my strategy of uh, doing a show internationally. And then taking that show abroad. Abroad, yeah, to Indonesia, mm -hmm. especially on islands, uh, on, you know, with palm trees and underwater and stuff. What so is Indonesia like? It's beautiful, it's heaven on earth. What are the men and women like? 
Um, they're very actually cooperative people. Okay, they're very co cooperative. Very cooperative. <laughs> yeah, very. <laughs> very good. Cool. Any 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 family in Indonesia? No, no. not yet. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fantastic! I mean, there is so much that I have to talk to you about. Are you into drinks and cocktails and mocktails? Oh yeah, yeah, I love them. I'm really glad because if you didn't, Hamid over here would be very very upset. Would you please join me? Oh, why not? For a cocktail mm -hmm. or a mocktail? Yeah. There yeah. you go. Mr. Hamid has uh, got a peach and the, and the vanilla. What would you like to try? I would like to try this. Is this peach? The peach, yeah. Oh, nice. All right, let's try a peach. Let's turn around. Mmm. Amazing, Hamid. This is good. This is good. Very nice, Mr. Hamid. Very nice. Very refreshing. Do you think that uh, Hamid could make a good uh, action hero? Well, anybody well, can act, act action. In my uh, philosophy, in my mm. view, mm. Uh, uh, anybody who is trained, mm -hmm. You know, uh, there's a lot of uh, uh, lack of training in Pakistan. Mm -hmm. People actually tend to do their own stuff by their own self. Mm -hmm. they, they go and search their own studies and they, they want to educate huh. themselves. Right. But if there are people who are there to, mm -hmm. to you know, just guide them, mm -hmm. I believe everybody can do everything mm -hmm. in Pakistan, whether it be sports or it's acting, it's mm -hmm. anything. Now, uh, you have international co connections as well, because as I said in, when I first introduced you, that, you know, you look uh, uh, Italian. You've got that Italian mafioso type, you know, yeah. sleek women sort of running after the guy type looks. Uh, really? What? <laughs> well, any, any connection with I I Italy here? I was born in Italy. I was born in Italy. I was raised there. I was me. right. I was right. You were right. Okay. okay. <laughs> and I was, uh, I was born in Roma, mm -hmm. uh, and um, I still miss Roma. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I was raised there. I, right. I was studying in Italy. Mm -hmm. So it was really difficult for me to actually come back to Pakistan and understand Urdu mm -hmm. and write and read Urdu. Acha. Yeah. Right. Okay. Then I had to go through, through this process as well. Mm -hmm. But uh, mm -hmm. yeah, I'm, I'm a writer now. I'm an Urdu writer. You're an Urdu writer? I mean, I write most of my scripts in Urdu. Mm. Fantastic. So yeah, Fantastic. I, I, uh, you can say that I'm a fast learner. Mm. Um, I have a small life, but you know. You know, a lot of people and a lot of your fans uh, are watching you live on this beam of PDV World. It's, it's going all over the world where the, where the international markets uh, are. And a lot of people have this image of Pakistan where there's not a lot of uh, action work going on or it's a very dangerous place to live and not a place to raise a family and not a place to... What are your views on this? I mean, how do you... What do you feel about this? So, some the, the only thing I know that people... Uh, people living abroad actually they just get to see the news beams mm -hmm. that are like on the loop all mm -hmm. the time mm -hmm. uh, they don't generally get to see the the good things happening in pakistan mm -hmm. and what uh, would you say would be the good things which are happening in pakistan actually so there, there are a lot of events happening here mm -hmm. uh, families are actually it's not that they're, they're like perfect perfect but mm -hmm. you know uh, our country is not that dangerous as it's been portrayed around the world I'm You're the action hero. You're the action hero. I mean, there, there, there's a lot of fashion going mm. on in Pakistan. There's a lot of uh, media actually progressing in Pakistan. There's mm. a lot of sports. I mean, we're prob probably, uh, you know, we, we, we are the only country which, which are Olympian, Olympic champions in, like, yep. you know, a lot, of, a lot of sports. Yes. So it actually shows mm. that it's not just terrorism or the bad things happening in Pakistan. There's a lot much happening mm. in Pakistan, mm. which is not really acknowledged. Mm. We have the best students in Pakistan. We have uh, great kids, actually, which are genius. Mm. Uh, we have, like, uh, karate kung fu kids, which are, like, just eight, seven, and mm. they're almost the world champions. I want to talk to you more about your international uh, filmmaking and of course action dramas in Pakistan. Let's go and sit somewhere a little bit more comfortable. Please uh, Thank you, uh, come and join me, please. Uh, it's, uh... International movies. Yeah. Shamoon, international movies. Uh, first of all, being an actor, being a Pakistani, uh, wouldn't it be very difficult to, 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 to act in an international uh, movie because there are not, no movies being made here? How did these international movies uh, come about? What are these movies, uh, Shabu? Uh, first of all, Suhail Sab, I would like to uh, explain a thing to, especially the viewers. Yes. Um, there was this um, this wave of uh, uh, Lollywood movies that you know people know about. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, when it comes to Pakistan mm -hmm. film industry, mm -hmm. the thing uh, was just Lollywood, mm -hmm. and uh, Lollywood uh, just kind of you know suppressed a lot of viewers. 
and mm. they, 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 they actually... Yeah, five years ago, there was a lot of this. A lot I of mean, this. You know, bang, 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 yeah, bang, yeah. bang, all over the place. You and know, yeah. a lot of educated families that didn't want to go into that trauma-type mm. movies, they wanted to see, like, you know, normal, <laughs> normal acting movies. So what happened is <laughs> that this industry actually um, um, was the, the only banner mm. to be shown to, to the Pakistani viewers. Okay, this mm. is Pakistani movie. Mm. Now, what happened is in the last three, four years, uh, the, 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 the Lollywood industry went down mm -hmm. and uh, there's no more finance coming in mm -hmm. to, to those movies. Right. And uh, so that whole concept of make, uh, movie making mm -hmm. is actually shut down. Mm -hmm. So what happened? That the a new thought is coming. Exactly. Right. Now, now the youth, mm -hmm. um, a lot of uh, educated uh, people are mm -hmm. coming in who have tra uh, training. Mm -hmm. they, they have diplomas. Right. They know how to make a movie. Mm -hmm. The only thing is they need to practice. Mm. So what I'm trying to do here, mm. me and a lot of other people like me, are trying to actually support these people. Right. We don't want to say, oh, you can't make a movie because you just you just got in here. Right. You know, I, I want to support these kind of people saying, no, you uh, will be the future of Pakistan. Right. It doesn't matter you're 22, you're 23. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. You have the brains. You mm. have the logic of making mm. a good movie. Mm -hmm. That includes Bilal Ashari. Mm -hmm. Bilal Ashari is a great mind. Mm -hmm. I believe um, he's going to be the future of Pakistan. Mm -hmm. And then we have... Uh, There's a movie that he's made, Vaar, 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 which I think you're in. Yes. That's an international uh, yes. movie as yes, well. Yes, that's yep. an international okay, movie. he's directed that. Yes, he's directed that. Dr. Mm -hmm. Hassan Bukhas Rana was, right. uh, was uh, the producer of the right. movie right. and the writer. Mm -hmm. And uh, a guy with a big heart mm -hmm. because he spent a lot of money mm -hmm. just to establish an, uh, an upcoming industry mm -hmm. in Pakistan by making this movie. And the other movie? That the other movie, um, they have a title name uh, that they still didn't clear the name, but uh, till now it's called The Extortionist. The Extortionist. Yeah. Okay. It's produced by Azan Sami Khan and Zeba Bakhtiar. Oh. Yes. And it's been directed by Summer Nix, who's an Australian director. Right. And uh, uh, we recently, he received um, uh, an award uh, from the New York Film Festival mm. on Seedlings. Right. Amina Sheikh. And right. uh, yeah. So. What I like about these new people coming mm. in, they are actually giving it a totally different mm. face and shape mm -hmm. uh, to this to, to our new industry. Mm. And I have a lot of hopes because 2013 will be mm. um, the the year when a lot of movies will actually come out. Getting back onto television, one of the gripes which I have here, and I'm sure you'll understand why, is the fact that you are also an action person and an action director and an action actor as well. From the Sars Bahu of India that came in, yep. and apart from these dramas, we don't seem to be getting any any action series here in yep. Pakistan. What seems to be the problem? Are people not interested in action? I, I think that they should be. Are there too many women uh, who uh, uh, dictate what the viewership is? Why has this been a problem here in Pakistan? What are your views on this? So, sir, it's a it's a it's like a puzzle. It's a, like a jigsaw puzzle. It uh, comes. So you're from puzzled. I'm not puzzled actually. Right. I'm so, I'm very much clear of what I need to do. I never mm. got into a Saas Bahu drama. No. Uh, whether I had to just sleep for hungry, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I never, I never had to do that. <coughs> Alhamdulillah, oh. Allah was was so helpful mm. to me that you know He kept me on my track. Getting back to this, why is there not that much action here? Okay, I'll tell you something. It's like uh, the market here. Mm. Uh, is uh, glued to the fact that the ladies and the, the women are watching TV in that song. Mm, right. they, do, they do not count the men mm -hmm. watching TV. They think the, the men are watching uh, uh, talk shows and sports shows and right. blah, 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 mm -hmm. which is not true. Mm -hmm. I, when I go home mm -hmm. and I surf for my local channels, mm -hmm. I want to see something which is like local mm -hmm. and attracts me to watch it. Mm -hmm. But honestly speaking, I don't have. I have girls crying all the time mm. um, <laughs> you know saas uh, bahu mm. yelling at each other blah 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 yeah so it becomes a kind of cliche to actually surf on each channel and mm. see the you know different girls doing the same thing all the time mm. but i'm not against it because th mm. that is also filling a part of our your viewership but don't you think that action shows and other such type of shows should be nurtured and people should be bringing them more out on a smaller scale of television so that they Definitely. people can get used to it exactly it was like this if you remember back you a lot in, of work on this yeah if you remember mm. back in like seven eight years back mm. there were mystery shows there were action mm. shows mm. Uh, you've done one the hit yep. hit was a very good show and uh, but you know um, what happens is the marketeers are not willing to actually move um, for for these kind of shows because so it's like, the marketeers 
I am sorry. It is the marketeers, the marketeers who are doing this.